Hey everyone, my name is Braden. We're going to go over how to use custom fonts in Matplotlib. Specifically, we're going to look at how to change the font on your title, your axis labels and text, and also the axis tick labels. And then we'll also go over how to use a downloaded font such as Google Fonts. To get started, I wanted just to point out these few resources here. They can be good if you're trying to learn more about using fonts and data visualization. What we'll want to do is import matplotlib as plt. And then from IPython core display, we import HTML. And we're going to use that in just a little bit to display all the fonts available in matplotlib and also show how those fonts look. And then we'll also need to import OS and Font Manager in order to use Google Fonts. So we'll run this real quick, and we'll also run this. This is a custom piece of code that I retrieved from this website here. So you can go check that out. And it shows us a list of all of the fonts available to us, as well as what they look like. And let's get started. We're just going to create a blank figure. So we'll say fig x is equal to plt.subplots. And that will create our blank canvas. And then we'll want to use our custom font for title, labels, and text. We'll save our custom font name to the variable custom font. And the nice thing about this list is we can just look through our list and find one that we like. So this Joker man, I kind of like it. It's very distinct. It will definitely help us to see exactly where the font is being changed, even though it's definitely not the best font for our data visualizations. We'll just paste it down here and we will set our title. We'll say this is a custom font. And to set our font, we say font name is equal to the font that we want to set it to. And then we'll say our text size is 20. To set the axis labels, it's a very similar process. So all we have to do is say set X label, and then we can follow the same steps that we used for title. We'll just paste that in here. And just so we can see, we'll change the Y label as well. And then if we wanted to change the text that we place in our figure, we can set the coordinates of our text. We'll say 0.2 on the x-axis and 0.5 on the y-axis. And then we can paste in the same information that's that we used for title and the axis labels. All right, and the axis tick labels are a little bit different. So for custom fonts here, we'll have to use a for loop where we'll say for tick in axis dot get x tick labels. And then for each tick, we're going to set font name and pass in the font that we want to use. In this case, it's our custom font variable. And we'll just do this real quick for our y axis tick labels. So it's the exact same process, just instead of X tick labels, we say Y tick labels. And then we'll say plt.show. And it looks like I missed that T there. Awesome. And we see the custom font for our title, our text, our X and Y labels, and also for our tick labels as well. If we wanted to use another font that's not available in matplotlib, we could use something such as Google Fonts and download the font that we want. To do that, we would go to Google Fonts. And I'm going to use this font here. So I'm going to download family and open up the folder. And I want to extract all the contents here. And just in this downloads folder is fine for me. So I'm going to extract. And then we can see we have a folder full of all the different fonts that we can use here. So I'm going to copy the path to this regular. And if you're on Windows, you can get this copy as path by holding down shift and then right clicking. And we'll create our empty figure again. And we'll create a variable for our font path. 
So we'll say os.path.join rc params data path, and then we'll pass in the path to our font. And whenever I'm working with paths, I always put an R in front of the string for a raw string. That way, any backslashes are escaped. And we will create a variable called prop and say fm.fontproperties f name is equal to f path. And then the process is pretty much the same as above. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it down here. What we want to do instead of font name, we're going to use font properties and set that equal to our prop. And for our tick labels, it's the same thing as well. So we will pass in prop here, except for we don't want font name this time, we want font properties. And I just noticed properties is spelt incorrectly. So we'll run that. And we get custom fonts for our title, labels, text, and tick labels. This is actually one of my favorite fonts for data visualization. It's very easy to read and it uses minimal space. So you can get a lot in in a small area. If you have any other questions about using custom fonts in your matplotlib data visualizations, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to them. Thanks for watching.